What is crack everyone? It's Nathan here, aka the Rambling Kern, and head instructor of the Kern School of Combat. So, um, a lot of people have asked about the armor worn by the Irish Kern, and I've been doing an ongoing series of the weapons and equipment used by the Irish Kern um, during the 15 and 1600s, um, and I have now finally got my hands on my first piece of armor uh, for that period and that is this the cabaset so the cabaset um, comes from the spanish word uh, cabaset uh, forgive me if i'm getting that wrong or uh, potentially from the word cabeza which i believe is spanish for head probably butchering that as well so this beautiful example comes from adam blockley and um, i'm going to put a link to his uh, page should you wish to commission any work from them amazing and um, really good quality stuff absolutely spot on really authentically made um, and for, you know for a guy who's as busy as he is very quick turnaround and um, one thing that I really love about his work is that he will do munition grade um, pieces and what I mean by that is stuff that soldiers would award so not just really premium kit, but also what you'd expect to see in the battlefield, which is exactly what this is. So, uh, traditionally these are made in two pieces, so as you can see here, single dome piece, and then often the brim, which you can see here, is riveted on. Uh, two ear flaps, and then a simple leather liner on the inside, uh, simply lined, and leather tongue to uh, tie off uh, these wee uh, leather loops here. Um, so the great thing is working with Adam on getting this on made. As you can see, it fits. Um, so anyone who knows me knows I have a very unusually shaped noggin. Um, and as a result, it can be very difficult for me to get hands to fit. So as you can see, absolutely perfect fit. Fits exactly as it should. And this um, you know, phenomenal piece of kit to finally get and actually get a helmet that is made for me and fits perfectly. Um, so these helmets are basically an offshoot of what we call the Morion. Um, I do have one of those as well, however a uh, friend has it and I just have to get it off him um, next time I see him so uh, he knows who he is next time I see it, uh, I'd love to pick that up. Um, but anyway, uh, these helmets were super popular during the 1500s into the 1600s, uh, you would have even seen these during the English Civil War. Um, very simple helmet, very similar to the earlier kettle helms, um, however now obviously you have the air pieces. Uh, relatively easy to produce uh, as you can see with these ones um, you'll see these all over Europe at the time even into the New World in fact there's actually an example very similar to this found in Jamestown in America um, so these helmets were extremely popular um, but for ourselves it's important to note that we actually have an example of Kearns wearing these I'm going to bring that up on screen now so as you can see uh, in the picture we have an image of Kearns wearing Marians and potentially Capacets as well in the Cowdery House um, murals. And these are one of the only depictions I know of where we actually have Kearns on campaign. And this is where they're on campaign uh, in Boulogne, I believe, with uh, Henry VIII's army. Amazing picture to have Kearns arrayed for war. Uh, interestingly enough, you will see that they do have helmets, obviously can't really make out too much as to what they're wearing uh, armor wise but it doesn't really look like a huge amount if any um, and still bare legged um, and all maybe carrying spears or perhaps pikes now as I say these helmets become very popular with pikemen um, all the way up into the English Civil War you'd still be seeing uh, people wearing these um, so a very popular helmet of the time both the Capacet and the Morion um, and this example is based on ones that you would have found at the time. Uh, a few little nice details for this one. Obviously it's been blackened, um, it's blackened with linseed oil. You just heat the metal um, and rub it with a um, linseed, so linseed soaked cloth. Um, it is of my opinion that most armor in England and Ireland of the time would have been treated this way. Um, as you can see, especially when we get into Renaissance paintings, a lot of people have blackened armor. If you don't have the money to have someone to look after your armor, this is a very important thing in the wet, horrible climate that we have. Um, so on a day like today where it's been raining all day, impossible to keep these things dry and impossible as a result then to keep the rust off of them once they start to rust. 
uh, anyone who has a chainmail shirt and used on Irish conditions will know how difficult it is to keep those clean. So this is the sort of helmet that you'd expect to see on the Irish Curran. Um, fascinating bit of kit. Really lovely example. And um, big thank you once again to Alan Buckley uh, for his work. Um, I'll leave a link in the description to all of his work. Um, I paid for this myself. There's no handouts, no nothing. No discounts or anything like that. Just he does really great work. And if you want to get any piece of armour or helmets um, or any kind of iron work, highly, highly recommend them. Absolute gent to deal with. Um, and as you can see, made a helmet that fits me perfectly, which is super rare for me to get hold of. So the next few weeks and months, you're going to start to see this in the real world and in the field. Um, as I say, I will also have a Marion. These are the only two helmets that I know of, and then perhaps there's other um, artistic depictions that we haven't seen yet that the Kearns were known to wear. Um, so for anyone who is curious as to what sort of armour that they would have been wearing, mainly it is a Calisette and Marion, mainly because these are more popular in England, but also in Spain as you can guess from the name, um, and Italy as well, so that's where a lot of the arms and armour would have been imported from uh, during that period, um, as there was a lot of help sent from the Catholic world into Ireland um, through the means of arms and armour basically. Um, so if anyone would like any future follow-up videos on the topic, or is curious um, as to Curran's armour, or just with any kind of things that they'd like to discuss, feel free to pop a comment down below. Um, really appreciate you guys watching. The channel's really growing. Um, really, really just astounded by it. So thank you all so much. Um, I'm pleased to uh, like and subscribe. Really, really makes a big difference. And like I say, some really, really fun stuff coming um, to you even within the next few weeks. So stay tuned. And thank you once again. And slum.